minute you for a minute meant to like my video share my video and those who haven't subscribed to the bell button channels please do so okay the righteousness of god that's what i'm talking about the righteousness of god transform us the seed of righteousness is from god so the righteousness of god transform us and the seed of god is is righteousness is the seed of righteousness is from god right every now and then life presents a mountain that we are unable to climb we need god assurance yes every now and then life presents a mountain we are unable to climb if not in the grace of god we need god assurance whatever god take you from is taking you for better so wh whatever situation god take us from is taking us for better yes we believe the holy bible over everything we believe the holy bible over everything the word of god is true all unto jesus jesus is all we need we all need jesus we cannot do without jesus Jesus won before he sent judgment. Jesus still, Jesus, we still need you. So before Jesus sent judgment upon earth, he warned us first. And we can't do without Jesus. We still need Jesus. We told God, we are nothing. Jesus, we still choose you. Our heart has been broken. They can take away the things that they controlled, but they can't take away my God. Jesus is all we need. So they can take away everything that they've given to us, but they cannot take God from us, never. They can take away our freedom. They can take away all that they want, but they cannot take away our Jesus. All we need is Jesus in our hearts, in our life, in our everyday walk. Jesus. They can take everything, all our freedom, take away our heart, take away everything they want, but they cannot take away Jesus. Sometimes our hearts are broken. We have broken heart, but we still choose Jesus. All when our heart is broken, we still choose Jesus. Sometimes we have the willpower, but we don't know how to use it. So sometimes we have the willpower, but don't know how to use that willpower. Jesus is tired of our suffering. Jesus is tired of our pain and our heartache. Yes, Jesus is tired of our suffering. He's tired of our pain and our heartache. Yes, Jesus is tired of all the wickedness that is going on around the world. God will plead with us when we are messed up. We messed up and think that God is fed up with us. So we turn our backs on God. We messed up and we think God is fed up with us. Then we turn our backs on God. But God is not fed up with us. When was the last time you have a little talk with Jesus? When was the last time you have a little talk with Jesus? When was it? Take time to talk with Jesus. Jesus is always there, giving his listening ears to a cry. So we must always talk with Jesus. When was the last time you talked to Jesus? You and you and you. When was the last time you and you and you talked to Jesus? Everyone asks, why does bad things happen to good people? We all ask that question. Why? Why? When something terrible happened? Why? 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 Where was Jesus? Why does bad things happen to good people? Who could answer that question? Only God can answer that question. Why does bad things happen to good people? Only God knows. Only God knows. Let us draw nearer to Jesus. Let us draw nearer to God. Time is winding up. All what we see is happening. Earthquakes, storm. Houses wash away, all kind of disaster all over the world. It's, God said, the, it's just a smoke. Worse is yet to come. So let us draw nigh to Jesus. Let us turn our life around. Let us turn our eyes upon Jesus and look full in his wonderful face. And the things of this whole earth will go gravely dim. Let us look to Jesus, God. 
remember to like my video share my video and those who haven't subscribed to bev brown channels please do so peace out bev brown said that think about it guys think about it many of us was walking with jesus and have turned away let us return before it's too late we know not the time not the day what will happen we don't know everyone have appointment with death no one have an appointment with life we have appointment with death not life peace out bev brown said that